What's up everybody? It's been exactly four months since I've driven my Ferrari 360. It's been a long winter. I'm starting to get the itch. I'm uh, rusty with YouTube because I've just been um, just dealing with a lot of other stuff and haven't been really filming much content, but weather's nice. It's a Sunday, sun is out. It's about 62 degrees. And I think it's time to get this puppy back out on the road. All right, so here she is. The car has been hooked up to the tender all winter. Um, I've inflated the tires up to, I think, like 45 PSI, and I've moved the car a couple times to see about uh, not getting flat spots. I have this window cracked here um, just to let some ventilation in so it doesn't get stuffy in there. The garage is has been about 65 degrees the entire winter. I have the mini split going. Uh, it's been blowing all winter, nice and warm. So the garage is um, is just that. It's been dry, warm, haven't opened the doors. So I am going to give it a look around, deflate some pressure, give it a visual inspection, check the fluids, make sure the brake pedal feels good, yada, yada, yada. And then the hope is that it starts right up and I can go for a nice Sunday drive. Now, I don't know how long this car has sat in the past with prior owners, but this certainly is my first time leaving it all winter. So we will see how she does. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous, but uh, I'm excited, let's do this. Take a look at the coolant, make sure it's good. Well, there's no flash there, but I think it looks decent. Same as how I left it. Doesn't look like it leaked. So I'm just gonna do a quick once around in the engine bay. Once I start it, I'll check the oil level once it gets up to temp and just kind of go through the rounds. I also had put a uh, stabilizer, fuel stabilizer in it all winter with a full tank. So that should hopefully have worked. Also had this going, a um, sound, so noise maker for the for rodents to make sure that they stay away. I've heard mixed reviews about these, but I haven't seen any signs of rodents. However, there's one thing that I don't remember seeing, which is uh, down, let's see. See that kind of foil looking wrap? I don't know if that's the clutch line or the, um, I don't think it's the shift cables, but it looks like it sort of came undone or unraveled a bit over the winter. I just don't remember seeing it in slight disarray like that. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. Um, but again, we'll see when we start it up, if it starts, what, what it feels like. Underneath, aside from some cobwebs, there haven't been any leaks. I've been checking it throughout the winter, at least once a week, several times a week sometimes. And you know, I've smelled inside the car. It's always smelled like nice Italian leather. I haven't seen any leaks. Again, I've kept it nice and dry. I just sat in it and it smells good. So, you know, visibly everything looks okay. So I think it's time to go ahead and turn the key. It feels good to be back home. I just checked my insurance card and it looks like it is the outdated one. So I just went to print the new one. I'm gonna go get that. And then we should be good to start it up. started right up like better than it did on a normal summer day Woo. all right everything seems to be okay from a visual and auditory standpoint let's try the uh, kinesthetic standpoint I'm gonna put it in reverse see what happens and we're moving just back it out of the garage nice and easy Sure the mirror doesn't hit oh I'm a little bit closer than normal I'm gonna pull forward and then back out again all right 360 has officially seen the Sun in 2024 kind of nervous but super excited let's go do this all right brakes sound a little spongy they feel a little spongy but I'll keep an eye on that. Coast is clear. First gear, engage. We take it nice and easy, obviously. Let's 
second gear. Well, engine's already quite up to temp. Almost at over 200 degrees. Third gear. Sounds good. Uh, let's see how it feels. The road's a little bumpy. I'm trying to see if I can feel for flat spots. Steering. I feel like I just need a few minutes to play with it just to see what's up. I'll report back. Downshift to third. Downshift to second. Still needs a slight cable adjustment. Downshifting it a second. But it's nothing new from last year. Slowly warm up the temps. Water temp's good, but the oil temp is still low. Keep it under five grand, right around four. Brakes feel good. so good I'm stuck behind someone but it's actually probably a good thing that I'm not able to open it up just yet I need some self-restraint so let the uh, cross check in front of me give me that I think I'm gonna find a place to pull over soon just to make sure I've been on the road for a few minutes give it another uh, visual inspection look for leaks or anything again probably fine but you know I have no idea when when and if this car has ever been sitting that long though judging by how it's been up until this point today it's literally like I just started it up after a day of driving like no different at all so let's go find a place to stop oh, ah, tempted to go over five grand Just got out, did a quick visual inspection, and still looks good, so away we go.
just like that, we're back. Guys, I am surprised. Normally, the way things go for me, something always tends to break. In fact, like, I'm shocked. The car ran just as good, if not better, than it would run last season just on any summer drive. Like, it really did well. Um, I didn't go crazy out there, but I tried to get the revs up, you know, do a little Italian tune-up action. But, uh, yeah, so far, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I don't see anything visible, didn't hear anything, didn't feel anything. Looks like the winter storage method all worked out. Again, trickle charger, inflate the tires up to uh, about 45, close to 50 PSI, move the car a few times, forward and backward over the winter, fuel stabilizer, um, cracked a window. I think most important though, is this garage, all the work I put into. Obviously it's still not finished, but uh, as you can see, it's insulated, it's got heating and cooling. It just did very well. It maintained a steady temp all winter in the uh, New Hampshire cold. So I'm pretty happy. That was a fun drive and um, I can't wait to do it again.